There, I had to uh, shut my garage door. I was getting too much uh, sun flare back there. I was just going to show a little bit of the progress that's happened in 10 years. On the left, you see my Valkyrie, which is a prototype. And on the right is a, uh, a current model. In fact, this is my own bike, which I did uh, oh, about four months ago, I suppose. Um, wheel assemblies are really the same. I use the same uh, Mustang two-inch drop spindle on each one. Uh, this one I build my own A-arms and everything. This one used ATV A-arms, and that's why the, uh, the shocks are up on the top A-arm. Over here, they're on the bottom. I didn't feel these were structurally uh, strong enough, perhaps, to hold the spring pressure if I put it on the bottom A-arm. Uh, top A-arm, you know, it pushes down on the uh, ball joint, which I felt was a little bit more uh, sturdy. And this one says, you know, prototype all over it because it's not what you would call a real great looking machine, I guess. To me, it looks just fine, but I can understand if someone thinks it looks a little crude. But it is a prototype, and a prototype is really built as a proof of concept, not really for looks. Uh, you want to make sure the thing actually works and goes on the road adequately and all that. If you notice, the nose on this one sticks out past the tire about eight inches and on that one it's basically flush uh, while I've never had a problem with this bike bottoming out or diving into the pavement uh, that was a concern so I shortened the front end sub substantially uh, so that would never happen and uh, as you can see uh, the lines are much better on the the finished product obviously you know everything's built to fit together um, you know, the body panels blend in real well. Uh, where this, you know, the attempt wasn't really all there for the looks part of it. Um, so it's a little crude. Although, I will say, of all the bikes I've ever owned, and I've had well over 100, um, this is my favorite. This, I just took this out of storage just a little while ago, and I'll be riding this one quite a bit this summer. Uh, this bike has 175,000 miles on it. And a lot of that is back roads and gravel and weirdness. Uh, I just washed it, which is just a waste of time because the first thing I'm going to do with this thing is take it out on the back roads. And that's what I do with it. Uh, this one had hit a deer, so that's why there's no actual fairing. There's a speedometer there, which is the GPS speedometer. That's the only electronic device on this entire motorcycle. It's as basic a motorcycle as you can get. And that's the way I like it. Uh, my other one there, the first thing I did was remove the radio. Not the radio, but the antennas and the speakers. I never used the radio or the sound system. Uh, I do have uh, Bluetooth in my helmet, which I connect to my phone for GPS and navigation, and that's all I need. Otherwise, uh, I never talk on the phone. I never use electronics. I, uh, I like the wind in the wheels aspect of motorcycling. And... Uh, when I take off, I want to enjoy the scenery and the solitude. So, anyway, uh, just a little comparison here. Uh, this bike has 41,000 on it, so not very many miles at all. And like you say, that one's got 175. It uh, runs like a top, and uh, it's really easy on everything but fuel. It gets about 29, 30 miles to a gallon, so it's not real good on, on fuel economy. But uh, the enjoyment I get out of that is well worth the drop in mileage. So uh, I will be riding that one pretty steady for the summer.